What up, folks? It's your boy Dash back again with another word of the day. Uh, and it's football Sunday. And the Steelers just came up off of that W. Okay. Thank you. Y'all see what it is. Y'all see what it is. Anyway, anyway, today's word I love too. I love all the words I do, but man, it's, it's just certain words that I feel are so important. And to work, today's word is share. Share. Sharing is always a good thing, man, because when we're talking about serving God, the way to, the best way to serve God is to serve others. Therefore, share with others. But, you know, I'm going to break it down three ways, three things, better yet, that you should share. Three things you should share. First and foremost, share your gifts. Share your gifts. God has given everybody a gift. My my, Well, God has given everybody more than one gift. If I'm being honest, I feel like everyone has more than one gift, whether you realize it or not, whether you recognize it to be so. But, like, for instance, my gift is rapping one of them at least, then I have the gift of uh, 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 talking, speaking. I believe that I have the gift of gab. <coughs> Woo, y'all, pardon me. But anyway, sharing your gifts is so important. First Peter 4.10 says, God has shown you his grace in many different ways. So be good servants and use whatever gift he has given you in a way that will best serve each other. I mean, that says it all. That is self-explanatory. Use your gifts to serve each, other, serve each other. Like, if you can cook, cook for the people. If you can sing, sing for the people. Sing for the people. I rap, so I I uh, I make my music, and you know. And if you are a Christian rapper, I want to say out there, you know, I'm uh, willing to work with anybody as long as it's glorifying the glorifying the Lord. That's all. That's that's what I'm all about. You know what I'm saying? But but also make sure that you use these gifts to. Like I said, glorify the Lord, because if you don't, then you're wasting them. You're using them for a purpose that he didn't create it for, you know. But again, like I said, share these gifts, because when people see you use your gift, and when I say gift, that means you are great at it, meaning it's something that you do effortlessly, but it looks like hard work, something that you do amazingly, but with other people, it will be more difficult for them, like a... Like I said, I do rapping, I rap, I rap, I rap. And I like to believe that it sounds like it's easy for me, but it will be hard for somebody else who can't rap. That's how I feel. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But Timothy 4.14 says, do not, do not neglect the gift you have. Do not neglect the gift you have. You have to use it. And when you use it, you're sharing it. You're sharing it. You're sharing it. You know, for all you people who are called to minister, that's a gift. That's a gift. Use it. If you're if you're gifted as an as an evangelist, you know, share the gospel. Let the world know that this is who we serve and this is why we serve Jesus because He is the one who God sent to die on that cross for our sins. So we live a life that is the closest we can get to His. But moving forward, the next thing that you should definitely share is your testimony. Your testimony. What's your testimony? That is the struggle that you got through. The struggle that you were feeling like you would never make it out of, but you did. By 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 God's grace, He was able to take you out of it. And how does sharing your testimony help people? Hmm. Chronicles sixteen eight says, "Oh, give thanks to the Lord. Call upon His name. Make known His deeds among the peoples. Make known His deeds among the people, meaning the thing that He's done for you, the things that He's pulled you out of, the things that He's helped you get through." Make it known to the people because when you do that, it'll give them faith. It'll give them faith that they can too get through what they're going through. It'll it'll make them feel like they can definitely make it out of. You know, it's somebody that's on their last wind who's feeling like giving up. And when they hear your testimony, that testimony will recharge them and be like, okay, I can make it. I can make it. Listen, I've been low. I've hit rock bottom probably two or three times. But what got me out of it is seeing people who are once down like me, tell me that they climbed up. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to let you know that I was down, down, down. I was down. I was down for sure. But I, I was able to get up because God pulled me through it. I mean, when I tell you some, it was some stuff he pulled me out of, you know, and I believe it's definitely important to share your testimony. Mark 5, 19 says, and he did not permit him 
but said to him, go home to your friends and tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy on you. Tell them how much the Lord has done for you and how he has had mercy for you. How even in when you were making all the bad decisions and those bad decisions caused some wild stuff to happen, he still pulled you out of it. He still, his mercy still said, I'm going to save them. I'm going to save them so they can serve the greater purpose that I created for them. Listen, listen, I want you to know something for real, for real. I don't care what you've done. I don't care how many people you've crossed. I don't care if you stabbed your best friend in the back. <laughs> and this may sound crazy. I don't care if, if you murdered your best friend. It's never, ever too much for God to give you his grace and his mercy. First and foremost, we get grace every day that we don't deserve. I put a, st a status on Facebook um, earlier today saying only by grace are we saved. It's only by grace. That means we haven't done anything to deserve salvation. We haven't done anything to deserve the chance that he has given us to make it to heaven. We don't deserve it at all, at all. At, even from the beginning, when he created Adam and Eve, <laughs> they didn't listen to God. Then their descendants, they didn't listen to God. Then came the Israelites, they didn't listen to God. I'm telling you, like, we haven't done anything to deserve salvation, but we got it. We got it because grace, grace, and he, he, he expresses, not expresses, but he extends that grace and that mercy whenever you're going through tough times. And if you give that tough time to him and worship him through it, then that grace and mercy, it, it'll, it'll show you, you see it. You're feeling in fact, you're feeling in fact. When I tell you I was outside, outside, I, I, I know I didn't say this a bunch of times, but I was outside. I was outside living reckless. It's people on this earth that I feel like may never forgive me ever again because of some of the stuff I've done, but I can't go based off of people. I got to go based off of God. And because God is able to forgive me and there's no person on earth greater than God, I can't condemn myself, even if other people do, because I don't have a heaven or a hell to put you in. He does, and he said, "You j even with all you've done, I'm not just going to send you to hell. I'm going to give you the chance to, 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 to get your way into heaven. That's why you share your testimony, because it shows the grace and the mercy that God has extended to you. I'm telling you, man, but also moving forward. All of these things are done for the purpose of sharing the gospel. Because if you say that you got through this or you got through that, but you just say you got through it and, and, and treat it like it was your own power that got you through it, then why would anybody else, like why would that make someone else feel like uh, they, they're, they're able to get through it? Because it's, it's, it's not... Let me step back a bit. Sharing the gospel means telling them, the world, the people, people in your circle, people you encounter, that it is through Jesus Christ who died on the, on the, on the cross. And that is our way to the Father. The only way to the Father. Only by grace, as I stated, are we saved. That is the gospel. That is the gospel. And it's more... I understand people want to give themselves all a bunch of credit, but listen, Matthew 28, 19. So go and make followers of all people in the world. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Not in the name of you, not in the name of me, not in the name of your mama, not in the name of your cousin, not in the name of your sister, but by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That is the gospel. By grace, through faith and good works, that is how you are saved, and that is how you get to the Father in heaven. That is how you are able to sit by his right side at the throne. This is the information that you need to give people, because these people who are walking around aimlessly need hope. And it's hope. It's hope. And it's real hope. Not, not just the, the, the fake hope. Y'all talking about, oh, I hope this happens. No, this is real hope. Hope that at the end of your time on this earth, you will be going to heaven. 2 Corinthians 5.20 says, So we have been sent to speak for Christ. It is like God is calling to pe two people through us. Through us! 
We speak for Christ when we beg you to be at peace with God. Need I say more? People preach the gospel. Let everybody know that through Christ Jesus, you are saved and are able to make it through he to heaven. Share it, y'all. Dash out. Love y'all.